Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Night of the Rabbit. Last time it was nothing really important. It was just a giant car battle between us and the hippie magician. But he did say some creepy possibly cryptic message about us finding out some type about us discovering a mystery of whether or not we are the rejected apprentice. I'm thinking I am. I'm thinking Jerry is the rejected apprentice and then after we do all this we won't be able to continue adventuring but that's not important what is important is that we get to start going off to the first portal but i forgot where that was uh let's see oh so you aren't a ghost no not really aro molina the magician of mousewood is a master of active sleep when he sleeps his waking spirit goes wandering Wow, that perhaps one day he can inspire. And ever since, yes, but it is until. Oh, can't you how the like how I did? Stop. Uh, get out. Okay, about the map. About the map. This map shows the four portal trees in this region. On a clear night, you can compare the map with the starry sky. Perhaps that will help you orient yourself. Out there on the dusty field roads, by the bridge over the cold water brook, you have a wonderful view of the stars. As an apprentice, Ooh, okay. you must find and pass through these four portals. Your teacher and I will help you. Oh, that's right. And we also got a spell to make it night and day at will. Uh, See you I later. Think we're done. Be careful, young tree walker. Okay, Marquis, do you Return have anything? to the portal tree through which we came to Mousewood. There you will learn your first spell. Oh, is it really okay for me? Uh, uh, uh tree walker for what if I need help? Yeah, what if I need help? What if I need help? With the advice seeker, you can enter into contact with me through your thoughts, and I will give you a hint that you will hopefully find helpful. You don't tell us anything. I'll get back to work. All right, we're out. Let's head back. To where everything first started. Ooh. I like the way it looks at night. Night watch. Good day. More like good night. <laughs> what are you doing here? I guard the city by night. That way everyone feels safe and can sleep in peace. Some have reported a fox roaming around the fields near the brook bridge. If I uh -oh. see it, I can poke it. Or sound the alarm. I also make sure the glow nuts in the city are still working. Ah, oh, those glowy nuts that are always surrounded by lightning bugs. Lightning bugs? Oh, you mean fireflies. I like fireflies. Our family makes the nuts by hand. The juice in the nuts glows like a female firefly. Ah, I see. Yes, it's a bit odd. But that attracts the little guys. I'd really like to have a nut like that. Me too. I don't have one at home myself. Unfortunately, they're very expensive. Except for the town council and the Hare family. Hardly anyone can afford them. But now and then, I look in on the Hare family when they're celebrating. When I see all the glow nuts and happy faces there, it warms my heart. No matter how cold the night is, that's actually pretty cool. But is at least he's making money from selling them, right? So everything is considered unknown. Even though we've been here. Can we go? No, okay. Let's jump over here. Can we get whoa 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 whoa? It's a birthday party. What's going on over here? Birthday party, birthday party, birthday party. Party. Oh, these they are already drunk. You can tell. This, um... Is that child dead? Or are they just... Yeah, they're probably dead. Oh. I, I'm still worried about this dude over here. And these two little guys, they're making out behind in the bushes. And the dude above them was just waving like, Yeah, I see you. Hello. Hello. I'm not a peeping Tom at all. Mr. Grumpy, come on. What do you got yeah, to say? Yeah, 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 no you don't. Nobody comes in here without an invitation. What? 
Why not? Private party, capiche. You ever heard of one? No. What does it mean? It means that nobody who wasn't invited gets to join the celebration. Oh, I see. Why didn't you just say so? Uh. <laughs> what are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? Well, a birthday. What else? You don't know anything. Uh, well, but it's going to be a dull party without a cake. What did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. None of your business. Family matter. So I bet if we give him a cake, he's going to be happy and let us in. Yeah. Why are you standing out here all alone instead of joining in? Because I have to wait here. What are you waiting for? For you to finally start minding your own business. When is Anya going to deliver that plastic cake? So, there's no cake at your party? Yeah, that's right, you little wise guy. I don't know what's keeping Anya, but without cake, this party will be a disaster. But that's family business, and only family business. I don't know, it looks like everybody's having fun without cake. Where did you get those great party lights? Well, they're glow nuts, of course. The Night Watchman's family makes them by hand, but that is none of your business. Just like everything else. This dude is grumpy. How can I get a glow nut like that? You can't just pick one of these up, you know. Only members of the city council or Night Watchmen can obtain them. They are sold to private persons only on extremely rare occasions. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to belong to one of the most important and influential families in Mousewood, like the Hare family. Our family tree goes back to the beginning, a time that you can't even imagine when it would have been unthinkable that someone like you... Yeah, yeah, all right, I get it. Wow. So he's rich, and that's why he's, that's why he's an ass. Uh, kind of fitting, I guess. Well then, right. have a good time. I don't mind being excluded. Fine. But I bet I can go over here. Yep, the he won't say anything. The garden with the big flower seems to belong to the mouse with the backpack. I love the way this flower reflects the moonlight. We go in there. Locked. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Let's head back. Ooh. What in the world is going on? What is all this? A stage? Do you think it will be better than building a shelf? From what Church Mouse Seniors told me, it'll be even better than planning a bench. Well, before we go talk to the mouse guys, let's check out what's over here where they used to stand. Uh, nothing. Don't know why I expected something to be there. Alright, let's talk with the Church Mouse, because I know they talk a lot, a lot, a lot. Hello, Mr. Church Mouse. Oh, it's you. The boy with the hat and the tight purse strings. Don't worry, this time Junior isn't after your piggy bank, he's after your sanity. The best magician in Mousewood will make you doubt your own mind when he achieves the impossible. He's a magician? Your son is a magician too? I don't believe it. Yes, yeah, pretty amazing, isn't it? You thought there was no such thing as magic. No, 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 I just meant... You will be proven wrong. But I didn't say that. When the great Church Mouse Junior mysteriously empties this glass of water without touching it. Well, I can't wait. Maybe I'll learn another one of my four spells here. No, hey, I doubt it. Is the water level going down? How long is this going to take? Uh, could you maybe put the nut in the water glass? Sometimes Junior has a bit of stage fright. Uh... Okay. That's gonna make the water fall out. At last, someone's coming on stage. Hey, Jerry! We didn't know you were performing here too! Uh, I'm just helping out. Put the nut in the glass and stop stealing the show from Junior. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. Whoa! completely soaked up the glass is almost dry that's, that's not magic if you have to drain something i could really use a nut like that 
Indeed, it is magic. Please, please, not too much applause. I think that's usually called sleight of hand. That wasn't even magic. Thank you for your kind attention. You can now see Junior every evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Junior. So, did Junior find the nut, or where does he come in? No idea. Yeah, can we borrow it? Can I borrow it? your water nut? The water nut? But that is Junior's most popular trick. It's also his only trick, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you mean Junior should expand his repertoire? Exactly. Or better still, perform without a nut. Without a nut? Well, that is a revolutionary concept that has never been attempted in Mousefoot. All right. <laughs> I always say, laughing customers are paying customers. So show me a show that makes the audience laugh. If it works, we'll swap your program for the water nut. Okay. Oh, uh, whoa. So now we got to come up with a way to make a show. You want jokes? I'll improvise for you. Well, well then, good luck. <laughs> Uh, 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 and now, uh, uh, opening for the wonderful Church Mouse Junior, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Jerry. Better hey, be funny. Jerry! Are we getting the nut again? No, now it's time for a laugh. <laughs> oh no, I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, I know what you mean. Here it comes. <laughs> Well... It sucks already. Why did the chicken cross the road? What? You can't be serious. Our cousin Henry lives on the road. Well, at least that's where he used to live. Now he lives in the hospital. Oh, I, I didn't know. That's depressing, man. <laughs> that is depressing. Right, but it isn't funny either. Get off the stage. Again, I'm, I'm sorry. No offense taken. He didn't mean it like that. I oh, know. Jerry, you, you can't tell road jokes to hedgehogs. Everybody knows that. Here, take the paper and pencil and go look for good jokes. Jokes that uh, the local audience can appreciate. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Thanks. We just killed the entire mood of the, sit of the place. Wow. I think I, think I know how I can replace the water nut. All right. I always say. Yeah, he already said that. Okay. Um, uh, can't think of anything. I can't think of anything right now. Break a leg. I have to go. Break a leg? I is that supposed to be funny? What strange children some parents have. Isn't that right, Junior? Oh, like you want to talk. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's continue. Let's see closed. if we can find... Too oh, bad. It's comfy even at night. So where are we supposed to find Anya? Well, we got two things to go going on right now. We gotta find Anya to, find, to get the cake for the rich rabbit. And then we also have to go through the portal at, that we came through in the first place. Two different objectives. Both of them, I don't know which one I want to do first. I know going for the portal would probably move the story along, but finding Anya will probably also move the story along, but in a different way. I don't know, there's multiple paths to take for a game like this, because you've already seen I've done things out of order. We've been okay. But actually, I think that's about it for this episode. Yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I truly truly appreciate it if you want to stay up to date with this series or anything else that's going on on the channel don't forget to hit subscribe until next time ladies and gentlemen i will see you all later